So if you're a beginner learning React, I want to show you one of the most common pitfalls I see beginners getting stuck at and trying to wrap their head around. And that all revolves around the use state hook and how state is kind of asynchronous inside React components. I did make a video about this already on my channel, but just recently someone asked me on Discord to help them with a bug. And it happens to be the exact same issue that I talked about already in that video. So I figured, hey, let's just make a video and try to help some other people kind of understand this concept. So let me show you the app. We have an app that when you first load the page, it's supposed to make a request to a backend to get some box data, right? So you have like a width, a height, an X, and a Y. And we want to compute the area and display it to the UI here. So if you notice here, I refresh, it shows a loader. And then it shows, says boxes, areas, in AN. So we need to figure out like, hey, what's going on here? Why is this not displaying the area I thought it would? So let's kind of dive into our React component and try to debug what's going on here. So this component is pretty small. All it does is when it first loads, it sets is loading to false. And then we have an effect that basically says when this component mounts, set loading to true, which is why we're seeing the loading box detail thing show up when we first mount the component. But then we actually fetch some box data from the back end, right? So if I go up here, let me show you what the box data looks like. This is a mock request, but we are returning a width, height, X and Y. And we want to kind of times the width and height to get the area and display it. So that should hopefully make sense. We're just returning some JSON. And then we want to basically use that JSON and set it inside the state here. So you'll notice that my subscriber was saying, hey, I want to take the box that comes back from the back end. I need to put that in my box variable because we have a use state hook here, which is basically setting a box and returning a box. So he thinks that, hey, we can just set the box here and then we're going to call another function to basically compute the width and the height slash the area or whatever. So reading through this code, basically we take the box, we compute the area using the boxes width and height, and then we set the boxes new state using this object. And you think that this might work as a beginner, but it turns out that this actually does not do what you think it's supposed to do. Now the issue is like the one takeaway I can say from this video is you state the setter is asynchronous. What does asynchronous mean? It means that it's not going to update instantly. When you call this method, it may or may not, in most cases, it does not until the next render loop, update your box variable to the latest value. So if you're trying to set box here, and then you would expect this to be updated, but it's actually not going to be updated. So I've seen a lot of people fall into this trap all the time. And even me, I fall into this trap a lot, even though I'm kind of used to using React by now. But the main solution to this problem is you need to use the latest version of your box variable. So how do you do that? Well, you can basically pass this a callback function. So I can say the uh, latest box. And we can do our computation inside of here and return the latest box updated. All right, so I'm going to basically take this piece of code. I'm going to put it in here and we want to basically make sure that we set this correctly. Um, I'm going to do let's do this. So now we take the latest box state value. We make a new object using this um, splat operator or the spread operator. I forget what that's called. And then we compute the area and then we return that update box. Let me name this updated box so it makes more sense. All right, so now if we go back to our UI, you will see that everything works as we thought it would work, where the boxes area is displayed with 10,000 and everything just works fine. And really that's all I wanted to show you. I mean, like the main takeaway from this is just note that state is set asynchronously. So whenever you're trying to set some state, it's not going to update this value. This value is going to be the old version. And if you need the newest version, you need to do some type of callback here, or you can refactor your code so that you can just like do all this logic and not call set box here. Like he could have just done this. Um, and then he could have just done like set box. Uh, let's see, box area. This is kind of what I would have done if I was trying to solve this problem. Right, that is a different solution where basically the back end's returning you a box. You're then passing it to a function. You're setting the box using that. And then if I go back to my UI, this should also work as you think it'd work. The last thing I want to mention is I personally don't like React that much. I, we're kind of stuck with React being the latest, greatest framework. 
But in all honesty, there's a lot of idiosyncrasies when it comes to React and kind of, I don't know if it's like leaky abstractions where there's a lot of stuff that you need to understand about React to be able to even use it to begin with versus a different framework like Svelte or Vue just makes so much more sense. It's a lot more intuitive. It's a lot easier to use. But I'm just kind of complaining at this point because it's kind of the state that we're in with this industry. We have to use React because everyone uses React. But if I could just like snap my finger, I would definitely say we could all use Svelte or something where it just, it makes more sense. All this stuff is just extra complexity that doesn't really help us developers. Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. Yeah, so I hope this helped you out. If you did enjoy watching this video, give me a thumbs up. Also leave a comment below if you have fallen into this pitfall as well. I'm sure many of you have. And like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm going to be posting other videos like this that should hopefully help you become a better React developer in the future. All right, happy coding.